for Netbook News, and here we've got uh, two tablets running Mego. Uh, this one is the XOPC, which we've seen several times before, and it's running Mego, so I just thought I would kind of give a little bit of a, a size comparison. So this one would be 11.6 inch, and this one would be 10. Uh, if we take a look at this tablet, this is actually the iBuddy, uh, but it's actually an ECS tablet. Uh, ECS is a, a Taiwanese company that, well, historically they've created products and then the teams who make the products get poached by other Taiwanese companies and then the products, when they actually come to market, tend to be a bit crap. Um, that's just kind of the trend that I've noticed with ECS, but maybe they're breaking out. So here we have the iBuddy. You can see it's kind of got it's got a glossy display. It is running running Migo. You can see here we've got the photo viewer, friends, movies. Uh, it actually isn't connected to the internet. They don't have the drivers working yet. It does have a 1.3 megapixel camera. And let's take a look at the, the thickness. So compared to a lot of uh, the other oak child tablets that I saw at IDF Beijing, uh, this is relatively thin. This is also a fanless version, which, we're, which we actually tend to see with oak trail, but a lot of the oak trail tablets that I have seen have had fans. Uh, so far, with uh, the amount of playing that I've, that I've done with it, the back is actually uh, only slightly warm on the side here. So I couldn't get the uh, 1080p or the 40p video working, so I'm not able to tell how much it would heat up um, after video playback. So if we take a look at the back, behind the, uh, the foil here is a really great kind of matte, matte, matte finish. It doesn't, it's not really fingerprint, fingerprinty or anything, so that's quite nice to see. Down here at the bottom, we have one stereo speaker. Around this side, we have two volume rockers. And what is that there? That is the power on and off. So that's the volume rocker, and the further one is the power. If we keep on taking a look around the unit. So on the top here, uh, we have a heat vent. We have an SD card reader, micro HDMI, audio jack, USB, and that's the PSC port. Around the other side we have nothing, and around the bottom that's the stereo speaker. So taking a look at the functionality of the tablet, uh, it's kind of, there are some touch screen issues that I have noticed with this. Actually I'm at the end of the photo, so let's go back. So those come into focus pretty quickly actually. Uh, it's a shame that I can't get the video working. Because it would, it, it would be nice to see uh, how high the... How high HD content this can handle. Uh, Big Big Bunny Hunter at 40p was loaded on here, so I'm curious to see if, if this, how this handles at 1080p for uh, heat issues. So we have some physical buttons down here on the side as well. They all tend to bring you back to home, and this would be a function key for bringing up uh, the app launcher. So this is stock Migo uh, 1.2. Uh, this is a little different than what we saw in IDF Beijing. Uh, if you want to check out that that uh, that video, I'm going to put it in, in the same post as this. So visit Netbook News to check that out. Uh, there are some really interesting things going on with Migo's UI right now. So check it out. Take a look. I'm at the Migo Conference 2011. I'm Nicole Scott from Netbook News. Checking out the iBuddy, which is made by ECS.